19-year-old Tess Fahun Hailu has a lot on his mind. Today he's taking exams that he needs to pass to go to high school. I want to be a doctor, so I want to study medicine. To achieve my aim, I have to work hard. That's why I study all night. Tess Fahun is four years behind at school, following an accident in which he lost part of his leg and arm. It was a fasting day. We were uh, looking at cows, and after uh, my friends brought uh, landmine, so we were playing with it. And after, finally, it uh, exploded, and uh, both of us hurt, but the big or the largest was mine. Unexploded ordnance and landmines are a major cause of injury in Ethiopia, a country racked by conflict over the past few decades. Tesfahun is one of the lucky ones. He received an artificial leg and arm from the ICRC shortly after his accident. Now he regularly goes to the training center run by the ICRC Special Fund for the Disabled in Addis. The fund runs refresher courses for technicians from all over Africa in how to make and fit quality artificial limbs. And Tess Fahan participates as a model for the technicians to practice on. Surutai Gebeleo from Togo is improving his clinical skills under the watchful eye of one of the fund's senior trainers. Surutawi is committed to his work and enthusiastic about the difference he can make to people's lives. Quelqu'un qui rampe, qui n'arrive pas à se mettre debout. Aujourd'hui, ils sont fiers de moi. Moi aussi, je suis fier de mon choix. Parce que j'arrive à les mettre debout, ils marchent, ils sont contents, ils peuvent cultiver, ils peuvent faire la cuisine, ils peuvent faire le commerce, ils peuvent aller à l'école, ils peuvent faire le sport. Ça me reconforte beaucoup. Tess Fahun has taken up dancing and is now even teaching pupils at his school. If uh, someone gives me a chance, I can do everything. Maybe it takes time, but I can do it, I'm sure. A person with disability, they think they cannot do because they are the part of society. You know? So they uh, just sit at home without working, without joining with a society. I think I want to tell them they can do. Maybe it takes time. Practice makes you perfect. If the society gives them a chance, they will be, I think, fantastic. The special fund aims to give more people like Tess Fahun the chance to walk and work again. It ensures the continuity of former ICRC disability projects and supports physical rehabilitation centers in developing countries that need technical and financial assistance. Grâce à un appareil orthopédique comme une prothèse de jambe, une personne handicapée physique va retrouver sa mobilité, va pouvoir accéder à des centres de formation, va pouvoir accéder à sa communauté, va pouvoir participer et être intégré dans sa, dans sa société. C'est quelque chose qui généralement ne coûte pas très cher et qui va changer la vie d'une personne. The fund donates equipment and materials for making the prosthesis, including a low-cost technology developed by the International Committee of the Red Cross. J'essaie de leur transmettre une, une parole qui m'avait été dite par mon premier patron en orthopédie, c'est que il faut toujours faire un appareil orthopédique comme si on allait mettre son moignon ou sa jambe dedans. Donc il faut en général si on fait quelque chose pour soi-même, on le fait bien. The special fund also offers coaching and technical follow-up visits to all of the physical rehabilitation centers it supports across Africa. So 
Ratawi Gobeleo is on his way back to the National Centre for Orthopaedic Appliances in Lome, where the fund has one of its most successful partnerships. Suratawi is keen to put his newly acquired skills into practice. Six months ago, he fitted 10-year-old Joseph Fiacuna's first artificial leg, and it's now time to replace it with a new one. A five-year-old child needs up to 25 prosthesis in his lifetime. Joseph lost his leg when a wall fell on him as he was climbing to pick a mango from the tree in his garden. Il est trop courageux. Joseph, lui, c'est un enfant qui nous a beaucoup impressionné dans les différentes choses. Joseph fait tout, il marche, il fait le sport, il fait l'altéritisme. After undergoing intensive physiotherapy, Joseph has quickly come to terms with his disability. Another of Suratawi's patients, though, Akosio Tanu, who lost part of her leg as a result of an infection, has taken longer to get used to her prosthesis. Le premier jour, vous la voyez, vous, vous, vous la voyez très perdue. Elle est stressée. Aujourd'hui, elle est venue reconfortée. Elle marche bien, sans, sans, sans aucune idée derrière tout ça. A widow and the main breadwinner for her family, Akusiwa was worried she'd not be able to provide for her children. But her market stall is flourishing, and with her new leg, she can do everything she did before, apart from carry her wares on her head. People like Akusiwa and Joseph are able to lead full and active lives thanks to the quality of care they receive from the physical rehabilitation centers supported by the special fund. In the future, the fund aims to increase its work with more centers around the world to ensure that the disabled have improved access to the best possible treatment. <laughs>